Hey, good morning. It's day 16. We're getting up there. Double digits at all. Having a great day. Uh, I just want to talk to you a bit about, um, you know, I get stressed too. I get tired. I'm just like you. And, you know, getting my house in order is such a a relief if I can just go grab a cup of coffee or grab the spoon or grab the, you know, whatever, having everything its place. I've often mentioned to you that life is a stage. You've already got some self grooming things already together. You know where your toothbrush is every day. You know where your face cream is every day. You know where to pick up t-shirts and underwear and everything else. And if you get the rest of your house in order, everything, life does go a little bit smoother. I know the little frustrations of the day in our first world, first world countries, crazy. Yesterday we talked about the fridge and then this morning I had a repair guy in, he moves the fridge, has to take out our, as you know, we've been working on getting a, a kitchen reno for months and months and months with uh, COVID. So it's December now and we started this probably late March we started saying okay we this is this is it this is the time we got the money let's do it and it's taken forever but anyway the fridge came out um, yesterday for the repairman um, more snow today I had to take care of that you know how it is I got counters now ta-da but I don't have any plumbing in the sink so again first world problems one of the things that my husband said to me when we were getting everything organized is, Kath, this is the best thing you've ever done for the kitchen. And I'm going, what are you talking about? And he's talking about these organizers. No kidding, an organizer for a drawer and he's over the moon. I have to show this to you. So I'm gonna pull this over here. I know I'm picking out tile, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Let's move you over here a little bit. Walking, right here's a, let me start with this one. This is the coolest thing. I'm going to pull it right out of the box. I got this on Amazon, believe it or not. It's bamboo. And get this. It's collapsed. It's just, it can go small into the small drawers. It can get a little bigger. It can get as big as you want. It can get smaller, bigger, more bigger, more bigger. And uh, you can just put layers and layers of stuff here. And so what happens is, everything it's freaking amazing so you've got some of your cooking utensils here or things you need to grab for the stove right and then I bought another one for all the gadgets and things and so this one you know your pizza cutters and choppers wood cooking spoons apple cutter corkscrew and think oh it's can opener all the cool tools that you need here and all the cool uh, cooking things here. I know how decadent, eh? And then I just want a third one <laughs> to go on the other side with the knife forks and spoons. And it has a little knife thing in there, so you can put all the knives down too. So, what a, if my husband's over the moon on a drawer organizer, imagine he's going to sort out all the drawers, and I'll bet you I'll be ordering more for our, our tools, our junk drawer, and all the rest of the stuff too. But in the meantime, we're um, still surviving. I'm cleaning up little by little. Our flex room, we're gonna get into it before, before long. And um, a little quick tip about dishes, when you're going into the dishes area, to rearrange your kitchen, same thing as you do with your drawers. You pull everything out, you clean, sort. Does everything match? Does everything fit? You might want to put the dishes that you use all the time, called day-to-day -day dishes, in and out, in and out, no brainer, they're always right there. And some of the more decorative uh, um, ones in a buffet, in a, a drawer or cupboard, and you bring those out for special occasions. And I know we just don't get enough special occasions these days, and holidays are around the corner, so maybe it's an idea when you un cover some of these precious things you haven't seen for a while, something from your mom or your grandma, and you want to bring it to the table, treat yourself. Put a piece of cloth, a nice linen on the table, some dishes you haven't seen for a while, light a few candles, and just change things up a little bit, okay? 
Change is good. And if you want some of the kid change, guess what? You have to decide to change something. I'm Katherine Wilking, and I will see you tomorrow. We've got lots going on. We still have to do purses and money cures. And stay tuned. I got lots more for you. We'll get through this 27 days together. Less stress, get organized, and I'll see you just around the corner. Bye now.